Good morning, everyone. Uh, welcome to the last uh, session of the this uh, data carpentry workshop. Uh, today we will uh, talk and learn about uh, SQL. So, uh, well, the thing is that we will uh, wait uh, uh, a few minutes, or let's say uh, three minutes or so, to see if uh, more people join, and I will start. Uh, uh, in the meantime, if uh, if you have any questions or any issues with the installation of the the tool that uh, we will see today please uh, let me know we will use uh, i will send you the the link uh, so i will send the link to the chat we will use a uh, sqlite uh, a browser and uh, yeah the good thing with this that uh, you have a that is a version for uh, Windows, uh, Linux, uh, Mac. So, uh... okay. So let's start. Uh, uh, yes, uh, today I will talk about uh, SQL. So I will uh, I will share my 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 screen, and you will see the the material for today. Well, I will uh, copy in the chat the the lesson that we will follow. And uh, yeah, I will share my screen. So yeah, uh, you, you may wonder what is uh, SQL. Uh, SQL stands for uh, Structured Query Language. And the idea is uh, you, uh, you have seen that in the first day, uh, we took some data, uh, we cleaned that uh, data, and we save it in a CSV file. Also in the day, uh, in the second and third day, we have uh, seen uh, R that uh, also you can uh, play more with uh, that uh, data. Uh, create uh, some streets, etc., and uh, also you can generate uh, CSV files. SQL. The the idea of uh, SQL is uh, to uh, to that data to store that data in a database and do queries about uh, that uh, uh, data. So the well here is uh, described the database that uh, we will. Uh, See today, the database is a time series of a small uh, mammal community in southern Arizona. And uh, yes, the, the, the database uh, that uh, we will uh, see today uh, will have uh, three uh, CSV files. The first one we will call, uh, is, it's called uh, surveys, the second one is species, and the third one uh, plots. And also, is uh, well, you see here the questions so that, uh, for example, one question is uh, uh, how has the uh, in food length and weight in, in the podomis uh, species change uh, over time? Uh, with SQL, you can answer that uh, question. That is another question that is uh, what is the average weight of uh, each species uh, per year? With SQL, also you can answer that. Uh, that question. So the idea of SQL is to, to have the data stored in a database and do queries about that uh, data. So why we use uh, databases uh, is uh, that uh, you have is more difficult to do the modifications of your data because uh, normally you use uh, commands that, uh, well, you can also use uh, other commands uh, to modify your, uh, to modify that data, but it's more difficult to uh, to do uh, these uh, mistakes or delete or change uh, some data. It's like uh, you have a read-only uh, view of, 
also the uh, an advantage of this that is uh, is uh, fast when you have a large amount of uh, data and uh, you can control the what you insert into the database you can do more uh, controls and you can add uh, other features but uh, okay today we will see the uh, today what we will do is uh, I mean, it's an introductory course and we will see the basic things of uh, SQL. But uh, bear in mind that there are lots of uh, different uh, things. So you hear the uh, material to read. And uh, well, let's uh, start with the, with the, yeah, with the practice. I will, uh, I will switch my screen. And I will share the, the screen that is the, what this one. Yes, so this is the, the, the database browser for uh, SQLite. Uh, and uh, what we will do is, uh, well, okay, we have this, uh, this is the the software, but uh, we needed to uh, download a, a file that I will send you the the link that you need to download. The thing is, when you click in that uh, in that file, sorry, in that file, in that uh, URL, uh, you see the web page, and you need uh, to click in the download uh, all. I will. Uh, okay, I will share my my screen again. Yes, so once that uh, you click on that, if you go uh, a little bit down, you see th this uh, button, uh, download uh, all. So you click uh, there, and uh, yes, you download that uh, in your uh, laptop. Then you need uh, to uh, unzip that file and uh, remember the, the location of, uh, because uh, we will uh, use, uh, we will need to know the location to, uh, to import the CSV file. Okay, so let's start uh, working with that. Also, I forgot to mention, well, I remind you that if, please, if you have any questions, please feel free to uh, write them in the chat. So, okay, what we will do here is that uh, we will create a new database. And, uh, well, this is my, the, my uh, home screen. I will uh, go to desktop. And I will write the name of the of the the database. That is, uh, I will use. Uh, well, okay, I will use uh, Edinburgh, but uh, you can use any other any other name. So save. Ah oh, well, here you can uh, create a table, but uh, we will skip that. Uh, oh, okay, you don't see the. Well, if uh, you do that, uh, you will see here. Um, okay, you, it's not sharing the. You see, edit uh, table the script uh, definition, but uh, you click on cancel. So what we will do is uh, we will uh, import a. Uh, A file in in our uh, we will uh, uh, include an uh, a CSV file.
So to do that, as you do a file, uh, we'll see if this is uh, singing the... Ah, okay, you don't see the... It's a file import uh, table from a CSV file. And you select the uh, service. Okay, you don't see... So, I mean, it's my fault. You don't see my, you don't see my, my screen. I will, uh, uh, what we can do. Yes, give me one second. I will solve this. Uh, so, uh, can, can, can you see now the, okay, I will start again. Can you see my, my screen uh, better? Can you see the menus and can you see everything? I will, sorry. Okay, yes, so, so that's bad. Sorry, I, it's, uh, the, I mean, for teaching, I use uh, two screens and the problem with the, when I share uh, the application rather than the, the screen is that, uh, you don't see the menus and you don't see anything. So, uh, okay, so let's uh, work with uh, that. So, uh, okay, we'll start uh, from scratch. The, what uh, we have done before is uh, you click in a new database and you, you need to specify the name of the database. So what uh, we will, uh, we will choose uh, the name, uh, mm, Let's say uh, DB uh, 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 dash uh, carpentry, for example. Or you can choose any other name that uh, you prefer. You click on save and you get this uh, window. We will close the window because we will not uh, add the table now because we have the table i mean we will uh, in, import a csv file so when you click on file in the menu uh, file you will see import import table from csv file so you click on that and you will see that uh, well i don't load I download the the files here in my, my in my desktop uh, directory. So you should go to the directory where your files uh, are. Uh, what I would uh, recommend is uh, if, uh, for example, if uh, you can follow what uh, I'm doing, because uh, then I will give you time. Because uh, we have uh, three tables. What uh, we will do now together is uh, to import uh, one table. And then you can do the, well, you can repeat the steps and uh, do the same with the other tables. Is that okay? So uh, here what we will import is a surveys uh, table. So we select the surveys.csv. And here you have the, you have a table name that is a surveys, uh, the column names are in, in first line. So you see that the columns are record ID, month, day, year, plot ID, etc. Also, you should choose in case that uh, doesn't work for you, because for example, you can have something like that. And you see that the, um, yeah, you don't see the uh, clear structure. You see a mess. <laughs> You need to uh, say the field the separator. In you know, our case, is a is a comma, because as you know, it's a CSV file. But uh, you can find the semicolon separator, a tab, etc. You have uh, several choices. So you select the comma. Uh, the quote character is uh, the double quotation mark, and yeah, the rest of the fields uh, should be okay. UTF-8 is a decoding, a trim fields, a yes. So you have this. And now you can click in, a, in OK. So here now you see that in the database structure, 
you see that uh, below that in tables, you have uh, the service uh, uh, table. So, also what uh, we, I will uh, teach and then I will let you uh, play with it is uh, you can, uh, we edit the table, we, we import the table, but we can modify that uh, table. Well, there is a warning message that says uh, editing the tables uh, requires to save all pending changes uh, now. Are you sure to, do you want to save the database? I will click uh, yes, uh, save. And now you see the, you see that the, for each uh, column, that is, uh, you have uh, the type, that is uh, integer, text, etc. Oh, sorry, is, well, what we will do is uh, for these uh, two columns, that is a uh, hind foot length and weight, we will change uh, from uh, text to real. So uh, once that we have done that, we click on OK and the changes are uh, saved. You can see now that uh, here, what I notice because I switch my screens that the uh, how to fix that this uh, that will make this uh, bigger for you. Sorry, now you can see better, I didn't. So I repeat what I did in modify database. I select, uh, I changed these two and I made them uh, real. That is the, yeah, the type of... Uh... Okay, so what I will do is, uh, now is a challenge, uh, time for the challenge. I will, um, so what you, you need to do is uh, you need to do the same, import uh, table from CSV file. You need to import uh, species and uh, plot these two tables. Um, yes, please let me know when you, are, when you finish the, the exercise. Okay, so what I will do is I will, uh, I will, uh, Share my screen uh, again. Sorry for the <laughs> infinity loop. So, okay, so we have here, we have the table, uh, the service uh, table. And uh, I will uh, import uh, the two other tables. So I click a file, import a table from CSV file, and I, I will import species. So I check that, uh, yeah, table looks uh, okay. So I click in, yeah, okay. So now I have two tables and I will uh, do the same for the third one. File, import a table from CSV file. And the third one is a uh, plot. So I have a plot ID and the plot uh, type. Cool. Okay, so I have uh, now uh, three tables. What I would like to introduce now is uh, the, we were talking before about uh, types, the different types that we could, ha we could have. We have integer, we have a text, that is uh, for uh, when you have a string or, Integer, yes, when you have an integer. Uh, Blow. this is uh, when you want to save uh, with with the SQL, you can save uh, files. Uh, maybe you can save, uh, for example, if you have a, a database of uh, people, you can save uh, the picture of, or you can, or for example, now that we have uh, animals or plants, you can, for some reason, if you are doing, for example, uh, uh, image recognition, uh, you can uh, save the, the picture. You need to use uh, that uh, one. Real is uh, for um, uh, for real numbers. And, uh, uh, 
uh, numeric is uh, also another is a type of number, but uh, now I don't remember the what is the difference between an uh, integer real and uh, numeric. I can I can check that uh, later on and let you know. Well, actually, yeah, it's explaining the is explaining the documentation with the uh, numeric uh, you can well not uh, here because this is like an easy version of uh, but normally with the numeric uh, you can uh, you can select the precision that uh, you want uh, for to save the the number Cool, so uh, now that we have our database, uh, let's start uh, playing with, uh, with that uh, database. So what uh, we will uh, learn is uh, to do our uh, basic uh, queries, and then we will increase the difficulty of, uh, of them. So uh, well, here, if you click in that tab, uh, browser, da browser data, you can see the whole uh, database. You can select here the table. But uh, what we are interested in is in to learn the SQL language. So we'll go to execute uh, SQL. Not sure what uh, I know. Sure. Is the screen uh, big enough? If I, for example, write uh, something, you can. You can read that, or do you need? Uh, I can make it uh, bigger if uh, if you want. If uh, you can answer by chat, I can see the uh, the screen is uh, big enough or not. Yes, well, yeah, it's a. Uh, Actually, for me, it's uh, also small and quite <laughs> uh, close to the laptop. But uh, yeah, that's a uh, see to do display. Great, thank you. Sorry for that. It's, um, yeah, yeah, the thing that happens uh, when you teach uh, uh, online. Uh, uh, Yes, so uh, yeah, that is important that you, you see uh, clear the, the screen. Uh, so here, when we have uh, we are in execute SQL, uh, well, actually, I wrote the first uh, like the first query. The well, the the most simple query is uh, select everything from a table. So. Uh, also, the a way to uh, do that is normally the keywords like uh, select and from you uh, type them in capital letters. Uh, to select, you can select everything, everything. You can uh, type uh, an asterisk or star, select everything from, uh, and then you type the, the name of the table that in our case is uh, surveys. So when you type select uh, select everything from service to execute that uh, you can click uh, control but you can press control and enter and you see that uh, here you have the the output and also you have a summary uh, below that is execution finish uh, with the errors uh, and also you get all of these rows in the 33 uh, milliseconds. This, this is because uh, well, this table is a uh, let's say it's a toy table and it's a small uh, uh, SQL. When you have uh, bigger tables, uh, take uh, more time. Depends on the size of the table. Uh, but uh, the thing with the SQL that or the SQL uh, the software that uh, you use, the database uh, manager that you use, is that uh, you can uh, you can uh, get up the with the big tables. 
we are big tables we are talking about uh, uh, megabytes uh, gigabytes so uh, uh, this is a, a lot of uh, data so uh, what if I want to uh, select uh, only one one column rather than if I want to select just uh, the year for example so I type uh, select year from uh, surveys so if uh, I execute that with the control enter I see that I only get the this column a year and also you can get uh, several columns you can get a year month and the day and you execute that and you see that you get the year the month and the day you get all the actually you get all uh, rows that are more than 35,000 uh, for example imagine that uh, only you want to uh, check the first uh, columns and you're not interested in the let's say in to check whole uh, table you are just uh, like a uh, or just to check if the query works uh, okay or not uh, you can uh, what you can do is select a year month and day and space and you can limit that uh, if you type the keyword uh, limit you can say uh, how many rows do you want so you can say okay i want the first uh, 10 so you type a limit to 10 and notice that uh, note that uh, i uh, i finish the the query with a semicolon otherwise if uh, you are using a terminal or you use a uh, or software could uh, fail so this is like a good uh, practice uh, to use a semicolon at the end well actually it's uh, mandatory uh, maybe some uh, for some software that uh, uh, allows you not to type that but uh, yeah it's a good practice to remember add a, a semicolon at the end so when you execute that you see that the result says uh, 10 rows are returning 11 milliseconds and you see that the results are uh, 10 and from 1 to 10 also a uh, feature that uh, another uh, keyword that uh, you can use imagine that uh, you want to uh, see this, see this, uh, oh select the year doesn't work for um, are you are you selecting uh, okay the what it could happen for example if uh, what it could happen is that uh, okay I receive a question say that uh, this query select uh, well year month day uh, doesn't work one problem could be that uh, the uh, that is not a control uh, here so for example you can check that if you well actually you can do select uh, everything a way to debug that is as everything where from service uh, limit 10 you can leave that and here you can see on top you can see uh, how many columns uh, do you have and you should check if you have a column called uh, year if not is uh, that means that the uh, it was a, it was an issue importing the uh, the csv file into the database okay it, it could uh, Yes, it's a, yes, it's a, yeah, it could, uh, I, I will repeat that, uh, I will repeat this step. Uh, to import a CSV file, I repeat, it's file import from CSV. So for example, let's uh, select uh, again this uh, one. And the thing that is, uh, you be careful, is uh, that is a uh, insect here you have the table name that is a service but the second line is a column names in first line 
you need to, uh, for example, in my, if uh, you want to click that, you see that the name is uh, field uh, one, two, three, etc., and takes the first uh, uh, line as a, that is already data. So a way to uh, is uh, if you can remove uh, a way to uh, solve that. Well, we we can do the we can repeat again. You select uh, the table that is your surveys, and you can delete uh, that table if uh, you click uh, there. And then you import again the table. So we will. Yes, is what uh, my colleague. Uh, yeah, yeah, sorry, I also didn't introduce uh, Neil O'Hare, is a colleague of mine that is uh, today's uh, with the SQL uh, session. So, okay, let's uh, go back. Uh, well, please uh, let me know when you uh, finish, uh, when, when you, uh, when this, the following uh, works. And I can continue with the, with the lesson. I'll keep an eye on the chat. Uh, great, thank you. Sorry that you see this uh, like a weird, like uh, the infinity loop with the screen. That's why I was using two screens uh, because uh, uh, you can keep eye on the chat and you can uh, teach with the. But it seems that uh, the feature of uh, sharing a screen with the, maybe with the Linux doesn't work, maybe. Okay, what I will do is uh, for, uh, I will uh, I will explain two more things and I will leave, leave you a, a challenge and also you can, you can, you can have time to, uh, to import the, the table in case that, uh, yeah, it's, uh, the import uh, didn't work. Uh, yeah, it happened to me before when I was playing a little bit around with this. So uh, two more things that I would like to teach uh, before the, the challenge is, uh, for example, uh, yesterday we saw uh, factors. That the factors is uh, when you have a column and you can categorize the column, for example, for uh, for the species uh, ID. So a way to uh, how many different uh, uh, unique values or how many different uh, species ID you have. Uh, you can do so if uh, you type a select and you need to remember this uh, keyword that is a uh, distinct that, well, here you see that uh, I, I get uh, this help. So if I click on that, uh, I can type, uh, sometimes uh, I can uh, type uh, with a typo, well, select distinct and then you need to type a species ID that is the, also in the head you have here that, that uh, you can select the species ID. From surveys, uh, well, I will remove the limit. And when I execute that with the control enter, I see in the result that I have a 49 uh, rows. So I have 49 distinct uh, species uh, ID. So I can browse them. Actually, I have one that is a well, no. So in, actually we have a 48 because uh, yeah, this one is a... Uh, also later we will see how to remove that uh, null from the, from the query. And the last thing uh, before that is that uh, you can calculate the uh, values of uh, because uh, you may remember that uh, you have a you have a weight. Let's just let's play with the weight. So uh, uh, you can uh, the weight is uh, saying uh, kilograms, 
so uh, you can uh, get the same uh, for example with the we can transform that to uh, uh, to uh, uh, pounds or oh, to pounds or uh, sorry my, my, my fault the weight is uh, saving uh, grams so if uh, you want to uh, show the weight in uh, kilograms you need to divide that uh, row uh, by uh, that column by uh, 1000 so what uh, you can do is uh, select uh, well let's select a uh, year month day and then weight well let's execute that to see if that works well we see that we have a a lot of them that are null and well some of them are not null so uh, the, the weight we want to uh, get uh, the weight in kilograms so what i can do is uh, weight and i can divide the weight by 1000 so if I execute that, well, you see that the column name change, and you see that now the weight appear in uh, kilograms. Actually, also you can type uh, weight. So we have select the year, month, day, weight. Sorry, typo, typo, type here, weight, and then weighting uh, divided by. So this is good uh, to double check that the everything is going well. So here you can see that uh, in grams is uh, 35, but in uh, kilograms is uh, 0 0.035. And also, if uh, because uh, here by default uh, gives uh, 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 three. Uh, uh, three uh, de uh, decimal positions, but uh, for example, you can also uh, use a function to round uh, this. So the function is called uh, round. Uh, well, here you have the like the help, but it tells you that the round function returns a floating point. Blah, blah. Here you put uh, the first. Arc, uh, uh, argument is the the operation and the second one should be the number of uh, uh, positions that uh, we want so uh, the you can select the two so if you execute that you see that uh, here you have uh, two positions rather than uh, uh, three Also, there is a way that this is explained later, but uh, I can introduce this uh, now. You can change the name of the column. If you use uh, the, the command as, sorry, the keyboard as, you can say uh, wait, underscore uh, uh, kilograms. If uh, you execute that, you can you see that the column name uh, change uh, well later we will uh, see how to remove these uh, null values so okay the challenge now is uh, well i will say the challenge i will copy that in the in in, in the chat is uh, to write a query that uh, returns uh, the the year month day Species ID and the weight in uh, uh, milligrams. So please uh, let me know when the challenge is uh, is done, and I can continue with the with the lesson. Oh, Manage sorry. I... Yeah, <laughs> just yes. saying. I think your mic was on mute. Yes, my gosh. Yeah, today's <laughs> my fault. Thank you for. Yes, so. Uh, okay, I will, uh, I will repeat it again. Then. 
So what I, what I explain is that uh, to remove the sorry it was a uh, mute that uh, we needed to uh, to set the right uh, order. So select uh, is a select from and where. So if I do that and I execute that, it doesn't work because I don't follow the right order. So the right order is uh, select the columns that I want to get from a surveys where and here this is uh, the filtering that uh, we will uh, we will see more examples now filtering is uh, that uh, i don't want all uh, the results i want the results that meet that condition so one of the conditions is that the weight is not null so when i execute that uh, you can see the you can see the the result, and now you can see that all weights are uh, are numbers are not. Uh, so uh, let's see more examples about uh, filtering. So, for example, you can select uh, or you can filter the table. Let's select uh, select everything. From service uh, where the year is uh, is uh, equal or same of uh, is uh, equal uh, greater or equal to uh, 2000. So we select everything from survey where year is uh, greater or equal. Sorry, greater no equal than 2000. So if I just execute that, you see that uh, year, well, this is a 2000, 2001, 2002. So you see that uh, you get a subset of uh, the, the table. Also, another thing that uh, you can do is uh, you can specify exactly what well, we, we, ha we have seen the sample with the number that the year is uh, greater or equal than a given year. But also you can say, uh, you can specify the species ID, for example. You can specify that they want to select everything from surveys where the species ID is equal uh, given that could be uh, well, let's use the same from the documentation uh, DM. If I execute that, you will see that all species ID are uh, DM. Uh, well, you see here that there are entries that are uh, null. Also, you can specify another to say. Select uh, everything for service. This is ID is a DM, and uh, weight uh, is not null. So when you uh, execute that, you get a DM. This is a equal DM and weight. So what? And you don't have weights that are uh, null. Also, what is a written documentation that is recommended in case that, uh, yeah, makes uh, like a, a more uh, robust in, in case of a failure that if uh, you surround this uh, with the brackets, makes uh, things uh, safer in case that, uh, because uh, you can mess with something and, yeah. As well, you see that the the output is the the same. Okay, let's do uh, the next uh, challenge. That is uh, this one. This thing I will not uh, mute myself. Not uh, not to. Uh, let's do this uh, challenge. I will copy that here. That here. The challenge is uh, produce a table listing the data from all individuals in plot one that weighed more than 75 grams 
and you need to show the date, species ID, code, and the weight in kilograms. So let's do that. I'll no, I will not mute myself. <laughs> what I will do is I will uh, stop uh, sharing and yes, please let me know by chat when you are done with the with the exercise. Also, please, if you have any questions, uh, please uh, feel free to ask uh, them uh, now. Also, what I recommend uh, for this challenge is uh, you should go step by step. Is uh, you have to first uh, select everything from the table. Then, okay, I will uh, I will select only these uh, columns that I want. These columns, and then you can do the filtering. Yes, like a go step by step. Is you try to uh, write the whole uh, query at once. Uh, be more difficult or you can do more uh, mistakes. So we have seen yeah one one person already finished. I will give uh, one more minute and then I will explain the the challenge. Oh then well, exercise challenge you can call it nice so what i will do is okay i will share my screen again Yes. So, uh, okay. So the way that they recommend that is uh, well. So now that you have um, this uh, editor is easier to. So you first uh, you type and uh, select everything from surveys, and you see yeah that works. Then uh, here you don't need everything. You need only a. Uh, uh, a few columns so they ask you the date so uh, to give the date you need a year month and the day then they ask you a species id code species id and then they ask you the weight in uh, kilograms so weight we said that the weight is uh, in grams, so we need to divide that with uh, by 1,000. And uh, yeah, okay, we have that. Uh, let's see. Um, yes, we obtain uh, G the date, the year, month, day, species ID. But uh, okay, they ask you uh, more uh, things. I mean, they, they ask you not all the rows. They ask you a specific rows. So uh they ask you the plot id should be one so we do where brackets plot id is equal one and there is another condition so we write and uh, weight is uh, they said that should be greater than 75 so we type that and yes now what we see is that uh, yeah all the the ways that uh, we have here well we can add if uh, just to uh, double check we can add the column weight and we see that here our weights are uh, bigger than 75 and the well we, don't, we cannot check the plot ID, but yeah, it's, uh, we said that the plot ID should be one. You can add a 
plot ID as well. And you see that this uh, one. You, uh, for uh, to, to check that everything is uh, working well, you can, or well, I mean, you can start uh, the other way around. You can do select everything from surveys where with the conditions. And once that uh, you are happy with that at a first uh, glance, uh, you can then uh, select the columns that are uh, required. So we remove them. And uh, we'll, yeah, this is the, the solution. Also, there are uh, more uh, complex uh, queries. I will, uh, well, I will explain because this, this is a nice uh, feature to know that is, uh, let's select everything from surveys. And you can imagine that for a species ID before we select only one species species but imagine that I also want to select more so what you can do is uh, where species ID and now you use uh, the keyboard uh, in and then you uh, in brackets you include uh, the species that uh, you want so uh, we want uh, DM uh, DO uh, because uh, this is a uh, for strings, so we use uh, quotation marks. Oops, and uh, DS. So if uh, we execute that, we will see that uh, all species IDs are uh, either DM, DS, or uh, DO. Also, there is a there is a okay. We'll explain the sorting, and we will go for a, for the break. Uh, to short uh, something, imagine that uh, okay. Select everything from surveys. Let's execute that. And imagine that uh, you want to uh, short uh, the the weight, for example. So to short the weight, you type a select everything from surveys, order by uh, weight. And if I just execute that, well, f first uh, you get nulls let's get rid of them where weight is not null order by weight so this is the table that we have and you see that the first the weight is a uh, four five six also imagine that as you want uh, the uh, Instead of uh, from uh, smaller to uh, bigger, you want the other way around. You can uh, type desk, and if you execute that, you get the maximum one is uh, to, uh, 280, and then you uh, have a smaller, smaller, smaller. Okay, so it's uh, time now for a the server break. I will uh, we we'll share the the schedule. Yes. So this is the plan for today. We have an hour morning break until uh, half past eleven, and then we will have the uh, the the post, post uh, workshop uh, sherry. That, I mean, the, the idea here is, uh, well, we have a, if we go to, um, 
Well, later I, I can explain uh, the, th the is uh, to do the feedback uh, survey and then we can continue with the with the lesson. And uh, yeah, we will start at uh, 11.45. So yeah, it's a 15 minutes break and 15 minutes of uh, to give you some uh, time to to provide some feedback. I will copy the I will copy in the chat the the feed, the feedback uh, form and you will have time to to do it uh, now or if uh, you want to take a longer break uh, you are welcome to do so. Thank you. Hello everyone. Uh, let's uh, continue with the with the SQL uh, lesson. I will share my my screen. Oh, yeah, the entire screen. I will uh, clean this. And yeah, what? Uh, okay, we have seen like uh, to do some uh, basic uh, queries, uh, selecting uh, some columns uh, from a table, and uh, we can order these uh, columns. Uh, where we can order the results, and uh, also we can uh, select. Uh, we can filter the results uh, given some. Uh, conditions and uh, what we will do now is uh, we will do some uh, we will count and, and group uh, the results so uh, okay here you see that when I execute uh, select uh, start from uh, surveys you see that the I get uh, these uh, rows but uh, how can I do a query in order to get that uh, result, uh, how many rows I have in the table. What I can do is I can use the function account. That is a select, uh, select, select count from uh, surveys. If I execute that, I get the result here in the query, saying that the count of is a uh, 35 uh, more than 35,000 rows. So that everything, yes. So uh, what else uh, we can do? Also we can, uh, uh, for example, get the, how many, we can have the query, how many uh, is, uh, animals uh, from each species ID uh, we have. So for that, uh, we need uh, to use uh, group by, that uh, we will do this uh, just uh, right now. So we do uh, select, we select a species ID, and the count of uh, them from surveys, and here is the, where we need to write the keyboard uh, keyword uh, group by species ID. If I execute that, well, I have a, yeah, null. Well, I have, yeah, null, we have a 763. Uh, for this species ID, we, we have a 303, etc. So here I have the count that for each, Species ID, I have uh, how many of them are in the... are in our, uh, in the, in our surveys uh, table. So uh, what we will do, uh, we'll, we will do now uh, an exercise in order to understand uh, this uh, because we have a count, but there are other functions that is, uh, we have a, we can have a, a maximum, a minimum, for example, from, from weight, 
we can have a maximum, minimum, etc. So we will see that uh, I will uh, copy the exercise in the in the chat. So please, if you can uh, do the following, is uh, write uh, three queries that are returned. Uh, the first one, many individuals were counted in each uh, year in total. How many were counted each year for each uh, different uh, species? And then the average uh, weight, weight of each species in each uh, year. Once that uh, you have done that, uh, please uh, let me know, and I can continue uh, explaining uh, further things of uh, SQL. Great, we have a person that already done the, have already done the, yeah, two people. So I will give uh, one minute more and yeah, we can solve it uh, together. There's a size. They will do one in the meantime, I will share my screen. So, uh, okay, we'll see if I, okay, I'm not mute. So uh, the first, uh, the first exercise said, uh, how many individuals were counted in each year in total? So, uh, what we need uh, to do is uh, select uh, years, then uh, count from surveys, group by uh, years. So if we execute that, oops, finish because they said, uh, okay, result, uh, no such column uh, years. So yeah, was my, my fault because the name of the column is a year, not the years. So if I execute that again, I see that uh, from 1977, we have uh, 503 counts from 78, etc. So we see the... We can see the... Uh, how, many, uh, how many individuals we have uh, per year. And also, okay, let's solve uh, the exercise two. Uh, how many were counted in each year for each uh, different uh, species uh, ID? So what we can do is uh, we can add a year, then a species ID. And then remember that you need to add a species ID as well here to group uh, them. Otherwise, uh, you will not uh, get uh, the right uh, result. So let's execute that. And you see that for 77, the species IDDM, we have uh, 264. So you have the group uh, by year and then by species ID. Inside the year, you have this species ID. And you have uh, repeated the same uh, pattern for and also the, the third question, add the average uh, weight. So what we can do here is uh, we can use the average, the function is called AVG. And then we will calculate the weight. So if I execute that, we get that the uh, average weight is, uh, here is uh, 41, 42, etc. Also, uh, because uh, we have this, but uh, well, let's uh, okay. Let's uh, simplify this query. Let's select a species ID count from surveys a group by species ID, right? So, oops. Ah, okay. It complains that uh, because uh, here I, I wrote a comma. So here you don't need this uh, line with a comma. Okay. 
So now we have, a, for each species ID, we have the count. But uh, actually, this is not a short. Uh, but if I want to short that, what they can do is, uh, after that, I can type order by count species ID. Well, first we have null, but uh, you see that uh, we have from uh, minimum to maximum. I can have the other way around. Type in desk. Uh, we see that the the maximum number is uh, 10,000 for uh, the M. Then we have a uh, 300, sorry, 3,000 for the species ID PP, and uh, so on. What else uh, we can uh, have? Well, here in the documentation, it has been the, uh, to, uh, that we can rename uh, we can rename the column, for example, count uh, as uh, uh, let's say can say total number. And if I execute that, you see that the name of the column. Uh, change. Also, we, we can rename uh, this uh, table. Survey says uh, you can uh, call this uh, table uh, serve. This is uh, like a, a why that because uh, later we will see in the in the pre, in the later we will see when we do when we join two tables Instead of using the whole name, you can use uh, that. But actually, um, yes, uh, it's up to you if you want to use uh, an alias or not. But uh, um, for example, in this case, the table name the table name is quite short, so will not make uh, too much difference to use an alias or or not. Another thing that is. Uh, that uh, we can do is uh, we can uh, here we have a group of the the species ID, but imagine that uh, we are not interested in this uh, species ID because the count is only one, two. So for example, we want the species ID whose uh, count is uh, greater than ten. If uh, we want to do that. We, we we need to use the the word that is a call uh, well the the keyword that is a having having is a filter for example when we do select from we use a where to filter the the number of rows that we got but uh, to do a filtering of a group by we needed to use a having. So oh, uh, what uh, we will do? Well, we will remove the. We have this. Select the species ID count from surveys group by species ID, and here we'll do the filtering. Having uh, count. This is ID great mm, greater than ten. So if I execute that, you see that uh, I get uh, twenty nine rows, and all the and the total numbers are uh, greater than than ten. So, for example, if I want to plot something, it could be uh, useful to have this. Uh, to have uh, this. Okay, we will do uh, now an, ex an exercise. Instead of using surveys, we'll be, we will use another another table. So the exercise is the. the I will call this here.
This is the exercise, uh, but first we have a question that is, uh, what is the difference between where and having? That's a, that's a good question. Where uh, filters, uh, okay, what I will do is, I will share. I will share my screen. Here having uh, filters uh, the uh, group by. So when you use a group by and you want to filter this, uh, you need to, uh, mean you, you, you want to filter uh, count groups, you need to use uh, having. But uh, where is used uh, when, you don't, when you don't use a group by? I mean, having uh, filters, uh, whatever is uh, when, when you have on a group of I. And where filters the rows that are not uh, in groups, if that makes uh, sense. I mean, the order is uh, uh, you do the select. Then you filter the select using where, and then you uh, join the what you have got in groups using group by, and then you can filter again using a uh, hub. Please let me know if that answers your question. If not, I can repeat it. Well, not repeat. I can explain this uh, in a way that is like a. Yeah, no problem. I can do later an example explaining this uh, in a better way. Oh, yeah, this is like the if it's the f the the first time that you see SQL. Uh, yeah, it's like too many concepts to uh, digest. So. When you finish the challenge, uh, please let me know and um, we can continue. Or if uh, you prefer to uh, solve the challenge, uh, that we solve the challenge uh, together, please. Uh. Great. So we have a yeah person that have done the, the exercise. I uh, will give it, uh, a few more seconds and I'll. Uh, Explain the solution. Sorry, yeah, I will share my my screen. Uh, remove everything. We'll see if I'm not, yeah, I'm not mute. Uh, so, uh, okay, the exercise is, uh, means remember, uh, write a query that uh, returns uh, from the species uh, table. So, okay, we have a select, uh, select, uh, say everything for now, from species table. Uh, okay, well, we want to the the number of species in each uh, taxa. Only for the taxa with more than ten species. Okay, so uh, what we needed to uh, okay, we need to select. Uh, well, if uh, let's execute that to see how is the table about first. Sorry. That's the right. So, okay, in that table we have a species ID, genus, uh, species, and taxa. Okay. So they ask you uh, that we are interested in the in taxa and in the in the count of uh, taxa. So the thing is that uh, when we uh, write count, 
is a count uh, well, everything. We need to use a group. I mean, if we want uh, the count uh, regarding uh, one column, that in this case is a taxa, we want to use a group by. So it's a group by taxa. So if we execute that, we have a, that we have a 13 uh, bird, one rabbit, uh, nine uh, reptile, and 31 uh, rodent. But uh, also they said that the, the count should be uh, greater than uh, 10. Also, I think that I haven't explained here is that, uh, okay, I have explained that we can use, we can rename count as n because later we can use uh, that n. So we can have a having n greater than 10. So in that case, uh, this is more readable than using a count. So if uh, we execute that, we get our, uh, our solution. And remember that having is to filter uh, what we have calculated using a group uh, by. Yes, so uh, what I will uh, explain now is, uh, well, imagine that uh, we, uh, okay, we'll explain what is a view. A view is uh, when we have a table, we have all data, but imagine that uh, I'm not interested in, the, in everything. I'm interested only in, uh, in the, the data that is from year uh, 2000, for example. So uh, what we can do is, uh, well, my recommendation is uh, first to play with the query. I mean, to get the data that you want. And once that you are happy, you save that data in a view. So uh, let's do a select everything. Oops, sorry. from surveys where year is equal uh, 2000. So we Okay, we can have a quick look and we see that, yeah, that the query uh, worked well and is we got uh, the table that is uh, for the year to, uh, uh, 2000. And we can create uh, a view of this. Uh, I mean, we can save that query. So how we can do that? Uh, what we can, we, we need to type is a create view. Uh, and now the, the name of the view, that will be, uh, mm, let's use, uh, mm, GR2000 as, and then you can, uh, uh, you can write, it, well, the query is already written, but it says select everything from service where GR is uh, 2000. So if I just execute that, not sure if this is a way if uh, you click in the database structure you see that you have three tables and also you see that you have a view and the view is like a is like a table so for example you can do select select everything from the view the view is uh, the name is a uh, year 2000 And you will get, uh, and now for example, you can use uh, where from year 2000, where species ID is equal, mm, I think it's a DM, could be. Let's see if that works. So you can do queries, you can use everything the same. And instead of using the 
the uh, well, let's say the, ori the original table, you can use the view. That the view is a, let's say, a subset of that uh, table. So it could be useful uh, for you want to use it in uh, the future. So I will explain the last part. I mean, what is uh, what it remains to explain is uh, to I will explain the uh, how to join tables, and also we will see how to work with uh, how to use uh, SQL and uh, R. So, uh, okay, to uh, let's explain uh, how to join uh, two uh, two uh, tables because uh, I mean, wh why to uh, join two tables? Because imagine that uh, you want uh, mm, Okay, let's uh, do uh, select, uh, select everything from surveys. Here you have the species ID, but uh, you don't have the genus, uh, you don't have the taxa, you don't have uh, species. That information is in the table uh, in the table that is called species here you have for each species id you have what is the genus the species a tax sector uh, what if uh, you want to uh, get uh, that information in the same table what you can do is uh, you can uh, join uh, tables to join two tables, you need a column that is the same in both tables. For example, here in species, you have a species ID. And in surveys, otherwise it doesn't make sense to join the, the table. In surveys, at least uh, for, yeah, for this uh, purpose, for uh, surveys, you have also here this uh, column, a species ID. So uh, what uh, we, we will do is uh, we will uh, okay we will uh, join the uh, both uh, tables. So uh, one of the ways to uh, do that actually to do the join there are several uh, ways. I will explain the way that is uh, in the documentation, but you can use uh, uh, if uh, you read the uh, other other tutorials or you investigate uh, this a little bit further as you will find uh, other ways to uh, do the join. But the documentation says that this is select from surveys. Now you type join a species and on, and here you need to, uh, uh, you need to type the, the column that is a uh, common for both uh, so you type uh, where well, first uh, you can type the name of the here you need to type the name of the table and the name of the column so it's species id equal this is the condition the let's say the join condition and now you type a species that is the other table dot species id so if uh, you execute that you will see that now you have uh, the first table and here you have the second table in the same uh, and you see that the species ID this is an L here is an L so are the same because uh, this was the condition and also you can check that the number of rows are the yeah the in this case is the yeah same uh, you may notice here that the, the name of the column is the same. So in, in, in this case, instead of using that uh, condition, because, okay, imagine that uh, here instead of species, species ID, is a species uh, ide identification. So you, you, cannot, uh, you need to use uh, on, but in our case, that is a species ID, that is the same name, 
you can remove that and you can do using using species ID. And you will notice that you have only one column, one species ID column. So uh, let's do a, a quick uh, exercise to see if uh, we we have a and this do the this uh, the join. I think I have a we have a question. Ah, okay, yeah, that okay. That is a question about uh, the difference between on uh, using on is used when the when the column names are different. So you need to specify the condition. Let me switch, let me sh share my screen. Here you use uh, on when the, when the column names are different. For example, imagine that in one table you have a species ID and the, in the other table, you have a species identification. You have this name. So in these cases, you need to use on because uh, you need to specify the, the name. In case that the name is uh, the same, you can use on. But if uh, you want to uh, type uh, less, you can uh, remove this. Actually, I didn't ask. I, well, I didn't ask. I didn't mention, if uh, you want to comment something on uh, SQL, the way is uh, to type it twice uh, does. And you see that now it's a column, color uh, in green color. This is a comment. So, well, let's use using species ID. So this part using a species ID is the same as uh, I use uh, that. I can use uh, this because uh, both columns has the same name. So if I execute that, well, I need a, the semicolon. It works. And um, only for the, pre for, for the previous version, I have two columns that were called species ID. And here now I have a uh, one column that is called a species ID. Does it answer your, your question? Great. So uh, I will, uh, okay. Let's do the last uh, exercise for today. And later I will explain the So the exercise is uh, this one. It's a write a query that uh, returns the genus, the species name, and the weight of every individual capture and this uh, site. So what you need to do is uh, uh, the same that uh, we have done before, but instead of uh, select everything, you need to filter the filter the, the result. Great. So what I will do, let's uh, solve the exercise together because we are getting clo uh, close to the to the end time of the lesson. So I will share my screen. So the only thing is uh, what uh, here they, they explain instead of uh, we're well, join uh, the column, sorry, join uh, both tables, but uh, only uh, 
only show uh, uh, several uh, uh, several fields. Here, what is important is uh, you, you need to specify the column the uh, um, well. You can, you don't need to specify. Maybe you can write a genus, but it's uh, recommended if uh, you uh, type a species a genus. I mean, first the table and then the column. Species genus, species, species, and then a survey, please, wait. Because imagine that, that you have the, let's say, you have a weight in both uh, tables. So if I just specify surveys, it's better because you just specify which table is the, so if we execute that, we get the, we get the combination. We get genus species from one table and the weight from the other. That's why uh, you use a join. In the documentation, it uh, is it is uh, also explained that uh, the this uh, type of join is called inner join. That means that, uh, for example, uh, if um, okay. Let's uh, show well. Uh, select everything from uh, species from this table. <coughs> so uh, the inner join, the condition is that, uh, for example, AB, this species ID, should be in table in the first table, in the table surveys, and in this table. Should be in both tables. If, for example, there is a species ID in the table surveys called AB, and here this uh, species ID is not uh, in this table, in the in the result, you will, uh, this will be uh, removed. Because, for example, here, if uh, you check a species ID, it uh, doesn't contain, uh, for example, where the, the, the null. This is also important. When you do the join, the, the null, uh, an inner join, the null is uh, removed. A way to, uh, not, in order not to do, uh, you, you can do a, is called a, a left uh, join. Left join. Uh, if uh, the species ID is not here, the rest of the columns will be uh, null. But well, this is uh, like explaining the. Is, this is in the documentation, and you can have a look at. Uh, have a look at it uh, later. Also, uh, b before I finish. Uh, I would like to explain that there is we have a, there are other functions that are called uh, well there is a useful one that is called uh, if null. So if uh, we have a select uh, species ID uh, and sex sex from surveys. We have, for example, here we have a null, have null, but imagine that you want to, you don't want null, you, you want to modify this and write a U, that uh, means that uh, stands from the undetermined. So you can do if null, if uh, sex is null, uh, uh, U. Okay, you need to surround this with the quotation marks. So if I do that, if I do execute that, you will see that here, for example, you get U, U, U. Well, okay, because we we are printing this, uh, but uh, you can remove this and say uh, as uh, sex. And you get the U. Uh, 
And also there are uh, much more, if you see in the documentation, you have uh, more uh, functions, so you have uh, uh, the absolute value, uh, random, uh, substring, uh, replace, uh, and you have a lot of examples uh, in order to to practice. I, I will show you the. Here you have all of these uh, functions, these uh, ones, and also at the end you have uh, several exercises with the solutions that uh, you can play a little bit uh, with them. Before I finish the lesson, what we'll do is I will uh, explain uh, quickly how to uh, use R. Uh, if uh, imagine that we have an SQL database, uh, how to use R to do uh, queries with this. Uh, with that. So what I will do is I will uh, try, if that works, to use uh, two screens. And I will open uh, our save. Okay, let's open R Studio. Yes, one second that I open this. Okay, so now I can share my screen. Let's see if that uh, works. R Studio. So here, what I will explain is uh, how to. Uh, I will explain just a quick example. I yeah, the, maybe the font is not. Uh, okay, I forgot that here I can do the. Okay, perfect, great. So to use. Uh, uh, to use uh, with our studio to use SQL, I needed to install uh, the following two packages. I need to install uh, this one database uh, uh, R SQLite because this is the what we will use. Uh, so well, I say that yeah, this is uh, like a DOM. I already installed it. This this is in the documentation, so you can you can check that later. Also, uh, well, we, we already have this uh, directory, but uh, th here there is a command that uh, where you can create a directory called a data row. Because for example, yesterday we had the issue that uh, the directory was not uh, created. And here I will download this uh, file. And I will, okay, this is like a maybe two. I will download this file. Where, whose uh, URL are, is uh, this one, and the destination is a uh, data row, and uh, this is the name. I'll also, I can uh, type the mode that is uh, bright. Um, I mean, you can edit the, the file. I will load these uh, two libraries. Oh, well, okay, let's, uh, let's start uh, coding. No, this is minus. Yes. So what I will do is I will load this uh, library. I will load this one. And to connect, I will use uh, this uh, line that is in the documentation. The first part I, is, I specify, I, I connect to the database. And I use uh, this, that is the, because uh, we have uh, the type of the database is uh, SQLite. And we specify here where the database is. If uh, you see this uh, database, the, I didn't explain uh, SQLite, uh, you use uh, one file for the database. So it's easier, if, for example, if you want to send this uh, to a, a colleague, a researcher, etc., you can send that file that contains the whole uh, database. So if we execute that, since that uh, now we have this uh, connection, and now you can do uh, queries. As you may remember, 
these uh, sentences uh, select the year, species ID, plot ID from surveys. So this is an SQL query. So uh, you can uh, do a TBL that stands for, I guess, from table. You specify the connection that is uh, mammals, and here you send the query. So if uh, you uh, execute that with the control enter, you see the source is a SQL, database SQLite, uh, blah, blah, blah. Here is uh, where the database is saved. And you see that we have a year, species ID, and plot ID. And you can, uh, now you can do a lot of, for example, if you want to uh, create a, what we have seen yesterday, what, if you want to uh, create a graph, uh, plot something, do whatever you want. You can, now you can use R and the source instead of be the CSV file is a, a SQL database. So this is the what I wanted to explain before we finish. So uh, this is uh, this is the the end of uh, the workshop. Uh, I'll, be, I'll be around until uh, 1 p.m. Is that uh, you have any questions or you want to to uh, uh, to uh, try some exercises or whatever you want to do. But uh, yes, just say uh, thank you so much for uh, for attending the, this uh, workshop. Also, say sorry for the issues that uh, I have with the with the laptop and with the screen sharing, etc. Uh, yes, it's. Sometimes it's not easy to uh, teach uh, lessons uh, online, but uh, well, I hope that uh, you have enjoyed the the workshop. And um, yes, uh, also to mention that uh, we will have at the end of uh, November, we'll have a, a, a follow-up session, a consultancy session. This session is in case that you have any questions or you have you want to discuss something is a is a drop in so you can it's from 2 to 3 pm uh, you can uh, you can join the data session and uh, yes you can ask the questions i think the day let me check i think it's wednesday 25th of november from 2 to 3 pm anyway uh, this afternoon you will receive a me, an email from training uh, saying so, saying the the, the data for the uh, follow-up uh, uh, session, and uh, I'm not sure if I maybe I, I forget something to say, but uh, that's uh, I'll stay around a couple of uh, more minutes. So, but yes, please feel free to to leave uh, by, because I guess that's uh, yeah uh, lunch uh, time. So yes. Thank you so much. Uh, yes, was uh, also quite uh, yeah quite good uh, to share this uh, knowledge uh, with uh, you. Thank you so much. Have a nice day and yeah, speak to you soon.